All right, guys. So as we all know, cybersecurity is very broad. Okay. And each time we talk about cybersecurity, uh, people think that everybody in cybersecurity is doing the same thing. All right. No. Um, it's so that that's the miscon the, the, the misconception. Sorry, I'm using cybersecurity. So that's a misconception um that people in the quarters have, right? The thing that everybody a uh, cybersecurity analyst slash engineer, they're doing the same thing, you know, they're just protecting stuff, right? Yes, they all have that underlying denominator that you want to protect a companies and organizations IT, OT, and IoT infrastructure, right? Um, information technology, operational technology, Internet of Things, blah, blah, blah. You want to secure that, all right? But the, the careers are different, okay? Um, so once you get into cybersecurity, you notice that there are many options, right? Um, we have what we call IAM, I am identity access management. You have threat intelligence, pen testing or ethical hacking, security operations center or incident response. They work hand in glove. You have application security. You have what we call DevSecOps, GRC, DLP, data loss prevention analyst, patch management, some kind of in cybersecurity. Then you have cybersecurity vulnerability management, okay? Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want us to see the easiest pathway into cybersecurity, right? The reason you are here is to change career. You want to change. You want, you want to get into the field as quickly as possible, as easy as possible, right? Uh, because people don't want, people don't have the time to be spending two years of studies, three years, you know, 1.5 years of studies. That is why, you know, many people want to get into cybersecurity. They want, if they want to get in, they want to get in as soon as possible. All right? So, the big questions that we are going to be asking is, uh, the first big question is, what discipline has the most jobs? All right. One moment, let me see. Okay. I want to make sure that. Okay. So the, the, the first question that, um, many people always ask is, which area of cybersecurity has the most jobs, right? That's the first, that's the first thing. And um, in the following slides, I want to show you, based on the different, you know, parts of cybersecurity that I have just mentioned, right? Let's look at, all right, I did a generic search um, on some of those different disciplines just yesterday, January 3rd, 2025, all right? So with that generic search, this is what I found. Okay, now if you do a generic search, right, after this class, you can try to do that. You search for remote threat intelligence jobs, threat intelligence, you have 22 plus at any given time, all right? Then security operations center, you say remote SOC jobs at any given time is 97 plus, okay? And then remote uh, pen testing jobs, all right? So give you at any given time, 77 plus. And then, S remote cybersecurity vulnerability management jobs at any given time, it gives you a hundred plus. Now you can do the same for 
all the different disciplines that I just talked about, identity access management, um, um, incident response, all of them. So you can, you can do that. I, I want to lay a foundation as to the reason that, you know, um, many people want to easily get into cybersecurity by pursuing vulnerability management. So the next big question I want us to ask is the importance, right? What the different aspects of cybersecurity that we are talking about, what is the importance? How important are those different you know, disciplines in cybersecurity? So what is the underlying reason that people in companies want to, you know, recruit in cybersecurity because of cyber attacks, <laughs> right? So um, they, nobody wants to be on the front page of New York Times or Washington Post that you have been hit by, you know, maybe a ransomware attack, right? That exploited a vulnerability. So reason for most of the cyber attacks out there, each time you hear that a company's, you know, security lines have been breached is because someone hacked, someone was able to exploit a vulnerability. And no one wants to get hacked, right? So if you don't want to get hacked, what do you do? You have to make sure that you close the, those loopholes. And like I said before, more than 90% of the time, each time you read the papers, each time you, 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 you get a news on TV or on radio that there is a cyber attack, 90 something percent of the time is because a vulnerability was exploited. So the big question is that we're going to be doing in this class is what is a vulnerability? What is a vulnerability? A vulnerability is simply a weakness. A vulnerability is a flaw, a misconfiguration that is on applications, on software, on servers, and systems, on the network. So just some kind of an open door that attackers may exploit in order to gain unauthorized access. Okay, so in this slide, what I want us to look at is the difficulty level of the different, you know, the different disciplines in cybersecurity. What is the difficulty level? Remember, you people want to get in as soon as possible, as quickly as possible, as easy as possible. And you don't want to try to get in, you know, from angles that are too technical that will take you a long time and you get frustrated your stress level goes up let's look at the difficult the difficulty level so uh, if you look at vulnerability management out of all those ones i have named has one of the least difficult to get in um, each time you hear of vulnerability management we're talking of three things each time you hear of vulnerability management we're talking about um technology, which are the tools, processes, and people, technology, processes, and people. And when we talk of the tools, we talked about vulnerabilities initially. So how do you know these vulnerabilities? You need to conduct vulnerability assessment. And there are industry tools that are used, right? Rapid Seven, Qualys, Tenable, the different products of Tenable, Tenable IO, Nessus Pro, blah, blah, blah. Then the processes, the VM lifecycle and, and other stuff. And then people, if you see all the different disciplines that were initially mentioned in cybersecurity, Vulnerability management is one of the only ones that have the word management on it. 
Okay, so you've got people to manage. The different stakeholders are also uh, very important. Okay, so which of those different disciplines have uh, a stress level that is very low? Again, it goes with the difficulty level, right? You don't want to spend all that time burning the midnight candle and stressful. I'm not encouraging that you should not do that. But what I'm saying is, um, which job has is not too technical when you're actually on the job and doing it? Okay, so um, that is also, you need to factor that in. You need to take that into consideration, you know, when shopping for a specific course that you want to do in cybersecurity. Having said that, if we look at all the different you know, factors that I took into consideration, the job stress level, the difficulty level on how to get in, um, uh, the level of importance of that field, and then the number of jobs that you have, right? You see that vulnerability management meets all of those, okay? That is one of the reasons why uh, vulnerable, you know, studying vulnerability management is one of the easiest pathways to get your foot in the door, whether you're working for corporate America or you're working for um, the U.S. federal government or the government of a state or an international organization like the World Bank. International Committee of the Red Cross, Red Crescent, all of these big organizations have got data, they've got infrastructure that they want to protect, all right? So we looked at all of these, looked at identity access management, all of those things, looked at how to get in, the number of jobs, salary, the stress level on the job, we took all of those things into consideration and said, dang. And then the, the, the shortest one to complete in a reasonable time, like say three months or four months or five months, the shortest one to complete. That is vulnerability management. So that is why we decided to uh, ensure that we are, we are teaching uh, vulnerability management.